So I'm gonna be straight with you guys. I didn't really know who Chantel Jeffrey was or what she was famous for before making this video. All I knew is that I've heard her name a ton and I've been seeing her all over Instagram for a couple of years now. Chantel is a signed model, a DJ who goes by CJ the DJ, a record producer, actress, and YouTube personality. So I guess the girl is doing it all. She's big in the influencer game and has 4.4 million followers on IG at the time of this recording. I recall that her big break came from getting with the Biebs back before he was married, of course. I think she caught him in his more troubled time considering she was in the passenger seat when he got pulled over for a DUI. Reading threads online, I heard a lot of different things about Chantel. First, it seemed pretty unanimous that the girl had work done and changed her face with some cosmetic work and fillers. The girl also has a mugshot, courtesy of an offense back when she was 18, and it sounded pretty bad. The arrest was for assault with a deadly weapon. Witnesses said that she stabbed a friend or ex-friend or something five times in the arm. Anyways, from what I understood, charges were dropped and Chantelle or her fam paid court costs. Chantelle denied this after it surfaced to the public, stating, For the record, I have not been arrested five times as has been stated in the media, nor am I guilty of physically assaulting anyone in any way, shape, or form. I am a full-time student who had enjoyed a normal lifestyle, free from public scrutiny and criticism until now. What has happened to me is wrong. I want people in general and the media in particular to consider the impact their disparaging comments have on the individual, especially when their comments are inaccurate. So Chantelle is also besties with Catherine Pies of the Ace family, and I know some of you requested a video on Catherine, and I'll definitely make that happen soon. Chantelle seems to have escaped the drama now, and considering she's 26 at the time of this video, she's probably done with most of it. She's made it big as a social media star and much more, so it was probably easy to put the past behind her. But today we're not focusing on Chantel's past aside from how she used to look. What's going on guys and girls? My name is Kara and this series we've titled Before and After. Today we're going to focus on Chantel, any cosmetic work she's had done, her boob job gone wrong, and just how she transformed over the last few years. I've done other celebrity transformation videos including ones on Lele Pons and Tana Mojo and we'll have links to those at the end of this video. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. As always, if there's anyone else you want me to document, let me know in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Looking at pics of Chantel when she was younger and still a kid, you can tell the girl was already pretty. But she does look a bit different. It's just hard to say what exactly changed. I think her facial features were stronger and less delicate, if that makes sense. Some photos that Chantel has posted of when she was a kid, her face looks a bit different, but it could always be the angles. I personally think that she got a nose job to make it smaller. Even though Chantel had a great nose before, when you compare pics from then and now, you can see an obvious change. Even though it's subtle enough not to change her face too drastically, her nose is too slim and petite these days to be natural in my opinion. Even though Chantel denies it, that really can't be the same nose she's always had. Even though Chantel always had pretty full lips, I do think with the shape and structure that they are now that she probably gets them filled a bit too. Pretty sure almost every chick gets them now, even those who don't need them. People online all suspect that Chantel has had work done and plenty of fillers in the face to change her look a bit over time. A common opinion seems to be that the fillers or work she's had done or whatever she's doing is making her look older than she actually is. For example, this person thinks that she looks so much older now. She looks older basic plastic LA woman and then goes on but you get the idea. I don't think Chantel looks that old but definitely older and more mature than her age. Some say she may do Sculptra filler injections to give her a gradual changing and super smooth look to her face which some celebrities choose to get. She does have a really smooth look to her face and her features look more defined than they used to. Her cheeks are quite high and her jaw area is slim and long. I think that whatever Chantel has been doing to her face it has been gradual so that it could be played off as natural, but I do think her chin and jaw look more elongated now and her nose is for sure smaller as a result of plastic surgery. But what do you guys think? Comment and let me know what work you think Chantel has or hasn't gotten done. Honestly, I think Chantel was so pretty growing up and as a kid and already looked like a model, so I don't think she needed to change anything with her face. I'm here. When you fade it, I pressed it and then went on stripe, a monotone, let's see what that does. Now we'll look at Chantel's body, but mostly her boob job and what went wrong. It's no shocker that she has breast implants or that she got them done pretty young. She's 
also been really open about it. It's even hard to find pics of when they were still small, but there's the odd few out there and you can clearly tell the difference in size. After her boob job, they were much bigger. Back in 2017 though, Chantelle posted a vlog about how she had a bad experience with her implants and then got a reduction and a lift. I just broke up. It doesn't really, I don't really hurt right now. I'm just confused. Mom, where's the meatloaf? Where's the vegan gluten-free meatloaf? Stating in her video, I'm doing a video that I've been wanting to do for a little while. It's something I'm a little bit nervous about, but I wanted to share it with you guys because I think it could be really helpful. And I also wish that I had a video like this to see when I was going through the situation. Chantel talks a lot of technical stuff in this video about the procedure and what they do for implants as well as reduction. Silicone, so it's kind of through the nipple or underneath. With the gummy silicone, that's the textured one. It's a little bit harder than the regular silicone, but it is better when it comes to scar tissue, capsular contraction, which kind of like makes it hard around. If you've ever seen like people's breast implant, you can see the outline is like hard. That's because there's scar tissue lining it. And that happens more often with the regular silicone or saline than the gummy silicone, which is texture. That shit can get seriously complicated. Anyways, Chantel said she got a boob job initially because weight fluctuations caused her to lose the look of her original breasts. And according to her, they got smaller and turned deflated looking and saggy. She said that she wasn't that educated the first time with implants and the doctor encouraged her to go bigger and said they would drop over time. However, with a bit of weight gain, they even grew more. Chantel said, so my boobs went from being a 32D to like a double D, which I never wanted. I felt like they looked fake. I felt like I didn't look like myself. I didn't want that. I didn't want people looking at me and just looking at my boobs. So basically Chantel decided on a reduction in lift because the implants seemed far too big for her body. And this time she did more research beforehand. Although her boobs are still noticeably fake in my opinion, they definitely don't look as large as before and suit her frame much better. Aside from her boobs, I don't think Chantel has had any other work done on her body. She does love showing it off in bikinis all over social media though, much like any IG model. The girl definitely does work to keep her body so toned and fit. In fact, Chantel has posted her diet online before, sharing it on Twitter. And from the looks of it, it seems very disciplined. No sugars or carbs, and a ton of healthy stuff like lean meat, veggies, and vegan dairy. Lots of protein too. I'm not sure if it's the same diet these days, but I can tell Chantel is super healthy. I'm sure that it's not easy to keep that model figure that she has and is obviously proud of. Chantel also exercises to keep herself in shape. She's often seen out and about in her gym clothes and keeps up a consistent workout schedule to go along with her healthy diet. Some online sources say that Chantel goes to the Equinox gym in LA, where her routine is usually made up of cardio and lifting exercises. And if she can't make it to the gym, she does a short workout of jump squats, sit-ups, and leg lifts. Chantal has said in a video she did for the brand Pretty Little Thing that she likes to switch it up with her activities and enjoys doing a variety to keep her motivated. So my favorite workout is cycling. So I like to hike, I like to skate, roller skate is fun. Swimming, so that's something to keep you motivated is always doing different things. In the same vid, Chantel also says that having a workout buddy is good to keep you exercising as well. Someone who's just as into it as you are. Finally, the girl swears that water is the key. Chantel really believes in staying super hydrated and chugging water throughout the day, which I totally agree with. Drinking a couple liters or more daily will actually make you feel so much better. But the biggest thing that you can do is stay hydrated. So finding the diet that works for you and staying really hydrated is the biggest part of working out. So considering Chantel is a model with Wilhelmina Models, she obviously always looks flawless and posts some pretty perfect IG pics. So what are her secrets? Chantel answered a few beauty questions for the website My Fash Diary and told them some of her secrets and tips. Like I mentioned before, the girl swears by drinking water and this goes for her beauty regimen as well. Chantel says that beauty starts from being healthy inside first off and it also helps for having clear skin. She also doesn't have dairy in her diet and that's mostly because it makes her break out, so she obviously avoids it. When asked about her hair, Chantel says that she takes supplements and vitamins to keep it healthy and also says, I put coconut oil in my hair quite a bit. My hair is usually really dry, so I have to make sure to put a lot of moisture on it. 
I also like to use the mask by Tresume. I like the volumizing powder by Big Sexy Hair. It adds volume and absorbs oil. Chantal also revealed in this Q&A that she doesn't trust others with her hair or makeup. She actually likes doing it herself. Her mom was a hairdresser growing up, and because of that, Chantel learned the basics of doing hair, like how to cut it. So those are just some of Chantel's tips if you wanna have glowing skin and great hair like she does. Also, when you see family photos of Chantel and her parents and siblings, you can see that she got lucky with amazing jeans to begin with. Her parents looked great. I think from making this video, I learned a lot more about Chantel than I did before. Her beauty definitely helped her out on her road to fame though. Not only is she a social media star, she's now a signed model, DJ, actress, among other things. So good for her. Regardless of what Chantel has or hasn't gotten done, she definitely looks gorgeous. There are always gonna be haters, like the ones from her high school I read about online who claim she's always been desperate for a famous boyfriend. But that's really inevitable, especially in Hollywood. I hope that whatever changes Chantel made to her appearance, she's happy and confident with her transformation over the years. And from the looks of it, I would say that she is. As usual, it's that time again where I read out some of your comments from past videos. I'm really liking the feedback and opinions, so keep it up. This one is from our video on Lele Pons before and after. Brett Edwards said, do one about Britney Spears. Hey Brett, thanks for the suggestion. I actually love Britney and I'm definitely gonna put her before and after transformation on the list. That'll be a fun one. This comment is from our before and after on Dove Cameron. MS said, all of these celebrities should start embracing their natural beauty. There is one book that I love. It's about body positivity and it's so uplifting. It's called The Art of Accepting Your Flaws. Body positivity, love yourself your guide to loving your perfectly imperfect body. Thank you, Em, that's a sweet comment. More people need to be positive like you. Maybe more will see your book recommendation now and go out and read it. And from our Ariana Grande house tour video, Wendy O'Dell said, please reach out to her and see if she would be willing to give you a tour or even videotape it and email it to you. Thanks, Kara, for always bringing the best content possible. God bless. Thanks so much, Wendy. I'm happy you like the content. That would be cool if Ariana would show us. I'm curious, so maybe I'll have to give it a try. All right, guys and girls, that wraps up this video here and before and after. If you want to talk more about Chantel's transformation, you can hit me up on Instagram. Let me know who else you would like to make a before and after video on and I'll see you guys in the next video.